Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This one's a beauty. It's another patron request and eerie. This one's going out for you, buddy. Thanks very much for all your support over at Patreon. Uh, and he would like um, Love Boat Captain. Nearly forgot the name of it there. So this one is an absolute pleasure to be able to do. So thank you, Andy, for requesting it. And um, hopefully uh, some of you out there will enjoy this too. I love this track. It's one of my favorite tunes. Okay, so first riff. Um, is, well, I'll show you what boom plays, okay? But the chords are essentially C to C minor, uh, G to F. Now, if you play the keyboard line softly, so I'm gonna use my thumb and voice it like this. then you may sound a little bit like Mr. Boom. Now, um, Eddie does start the intro quite um, simply, okay? So he does pick this. So you'll hear a lot of open notes in between, so. So you'll hear that open string before uh, before it goes to the G. And you'll hear another open E there, okay? And then um, as the verse develops, you'll start to hear start to hear that coming in all right so two ways to play it which is slowly all right or which slowly is so you're accenting the first the fourth and the seventh quaver okay or eighth note and if I just make it very very obvious it's this and that's kind of a bit of a straight way to play it Eddie actually plays he puts in a uh, 16th note there so Now he does that in loads of tunes, um, so for example... He's always putting that little bit in there. You'll hear it in loads of Pearl Jam tunes. Anyway, back to this riff. So to get that to sound up, because you do want to hear it going from major to minor, right? You want to hear that. Okay, because it's chromatic, so it's. Okay, so um, it's important that you sound that out. Now, um, if you try and kind of play the top three notes, but then you kind of palm mute the bottom two, you get this. And really like, don't worry too much about your right hand because it'll tense up and it'll sound stiff and horrible. Very much a, a loose feel in your right hand, okay? so. Spend a bit of time on that, it's well worth it. Um, and then the chords are, as I've said, just C to C minor, G to F. Now, let me play that slowly for you, okay? So.
Now going into the next section, there's an extra bar of four. So you're going to be playing Okay, you're going to get do that straight into eighth notes. And then you're going to go into um, <clears throat> this awesome riff, which is... to um, that, which is tremendous. So anyway, back to this riff uh, very slowly, okay? So it, uh, so it's probably, the full chord is probably, But it's voiced like this, okay? So ninth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D string, and the E is open, so you're gonna play. And then down to the E. But you're only gonna play probably the first four notes of that. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, then you go to this, um, this D, Seven sus fourth, sus fourth, which resolves as always down to the D seven. So So um I think Mike and um Stone are voicing it here. But Eddie is um voicing it down here. And then back round. Now there's a fill which goes, which is basically just a rundown from the third, second, and the open string. So, but you're going to play it with a chord, okay? So. The third time round, it actually cycles round the uh, D7 chords twice. So you play, and then you're into a G, um, but then there's a little arpeggio run down from there. I can't remember what that is. I haven't worked it out, but um, if you want that as well comment below, um, but essentially it's just a G chord to an F chord, okay? So... So that is just um, uh, open E, second fret, third fret. And then into the G chord, okay? Okay, let me run through that really slowly. Tricky. Just remember to play the chord with it. And then last time. And when you go to the F, you're back to. Okay, so that last part would be. And with that, you always start um, with a light touch and get heavier, okay? So. 
dynamics up you come into the chorus all right now the chorus is just blinding uh, you're going to be playing a slightly different rhythm as well so it's um It changes slightly in that you're going to the chords slightly earlier, so they're pushed or they're, they come in um, just slightly before the beat, okay? And the rhythm part, and I'll slow that down for you, is just... Okay, so the C to C minor is pushed, then the G starts on the first beat, and the G to the F is pushed as well, okay, so. It's just lovely, and the singing in this is just brilliant, especially with the chords behind it. This is in three guitars, bass, drums, just um, an orchestra of awesomeness. So anyway, all you need to worry about there is the um, the rhythm, basically, and you know, play it like you mean it, okay? Now you will hear some other little incidental stuff over the top of that, and the main. Um, the main extra kind of note that you'll hear in there is when Eddie moves to the C minor. So the second chord in that um, in that uh, progression, you'll also hear. You'll hear someone. I think it's Stone playing that. Um, so I think Eddie's playing this. And over those same chords, Stone is playing. So you're already hearing a few more rather than so you're hearing two extra notes there which fills out Eddie's um, fills out Eddie's chords quite nicely but he also goes to this so when he goes to the E minor Occasionally, if you fret it like this, you can play it. I don't know if he, this is how he frets it, but this is what I'm going to do. Um, if you put your second finger on your third finger on the, um, uh, the third and the octave, so um, you've got 8, 10, 10, played like that, okay? That leaves your little finger free to hit the 11th fret on the B string, which gives you that. So I think that's what I'm hearing, okay? So... Okay, so that whole part that Stone plays would go like this. Something like that. Okay, but anyway, get that in there. Lovely tune. Um, okay, so next up, what have we got? Okay, now the next bit is um, basically just uh, an A major to a C major to a G major. But Eddie um, voices it like, uh, you know, these chords, the sort of C add nine or whatever they are, but he doesn't play the, the top part of it. So he'll play... So all he's playing is uh, as per the tab, okay? So you don't hear that. I don't hear that four chord, so, but I do see his fingers there. I don't know if he's fretting them or muting them or what, but you hear. Okay, and the rest of the guys are just playing. Just regular um, A, uh, C, and G open chords. Okay, so this next riff goes like this. Okay, 
Okay, so Eddie's playing that riff, um, and it's, it's just arpeggiating, but you must let these um, first two notes ring out as much as possible, okay? Okay, so that slowly. So you've just got to remember to um, put your finger off and on on the uh, second fret on the third string. Off there. So when you hit the F, uh, that's generally when I take my finger off. Okay, so it's off there. So that slowly. Okay, pretty straightforward, and you go around that, and then you're going to play a B flat major uh, chord, uh, just eight notes, which um, kind of come up in volume, and then back down to that. So there's some nice dynamics going on there. Um, okay, and Mike does play this little bit. See the tab? It's just basically it's just the thirteenth fret on the B string, and you do a hammer on, and then. You play that um, 13th um, fret on the B string again for the first beat of the second bar. Um, and then... I think there's a double bar of B flat before it goes into... Obviously with the... Now, when it comes out of the uh, the chorus part, you do an extra bar of F, okay? And then um, Eddie, I think, is still playing the. guys I think I don't think they're playing I don't hear that note but that would be the full chord I guess um, so I think uh, they are playing or Stone maybe Mike is playing because those voicings are very different I mean I know the uh, this bit anyway is probably what Stone's playing while Eddie's doing. And he's playing the octave, obviously, while Eddie plays that one down there. But this voicing, much more sort of trebly than. And then um, I think the solo is played over the. Which is, you know, but anyway, I haven't had a chance to go into the um, solo, but uh, I think then it uh, all goes back into the kind of intro for the outro bit. So. So hopefully that's enough of the parts um, for you to nail this bad boy. Um, thank you again, Andy, for suggesting it. Really appreciate that. And uh, for all your support, as for all the patrons, and indeed all of you folk out there subscribing, liking, and watching these videos um, really does mean a lot. So um, thank you, thank you. Um, but I am trying to get through a lot of these uh, patron requests, so uh, there's lots more to come. Okay, that's enough from me. Until the next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.